members of the Order of the Purple Cord. This is Bob Hickman. It is so good to be back with you. Well, guys, I am always excited when we get together and do a, do a lesson for the Order of the Purple Cord. As you can see, I've got on my beautiful Wiccan robes here. I've got my moon painted on my brow. And I'm wearing my purple cord and my pentacle. Check this out. This is one of my new pieces of jewelry. It's a pentacle with like aquamarines in it. Isn't that pretty? Anyways, I enjoy my wicked jewelry, as you all know. Anyways, you guys said how much you enjoyed uh, my last video, which was on candle magic. And if you haven't seen that, that's the video right before this one. Check it out. And uh, you guys said how much you enjoyed seeing my book of shadows. And for those of you who are new here, uh, we're going to be teaching for my book of shadows. And uh, I just got this new cover, which I tell about in my last video. So definitely check that out. But um, also I just want to acknowledge, a lot of you guys said in the last video you wanted to see uh, some spells using runes. want to learn about rune magic. And I think we can definitely do that. So uh, next week we'll have a rune magic video uh, on next Tuesday. So make sure to be here. Uh, but today we're going to do uh, a special spell, which is a binding spell. And, you know, binding spells are very, very powerful, and they're not something to be taken lightly. And uh, I thought we would talk about uh, the binding spell we're going to do today. Uh, and I wanted to read a little bit here from my Book of Shadows exactly kind of what a binding spell is is. And uh, this this page is from my Book of Shadows. And if you like these spells that I'm doing, I would encourage you to go over to rarewiccaspells.com. I'll put the link below. Lady Angela, who's High Priestess of the Order, uh, is a, a wonderful Wiccan High Priestess. And she writes and sells spells. And I buy all of my spells from her. And um, I encourage you to check it out. As uh, you can see, uh, they're beautiful, beautiful artwork, uh, really wonderful stuff, all on fine parchment paper. So I thought before we get into today's spell, I'd just read a little bit about binding spells. Okay. And it says here, a binding spell is the act of grasping the negative energy that is propelling a person or thing and stopping it. In a way, you are negating the unhealthy energy. The most important thing to remember when conducting a binding spell is that you must control your own violent emotions of hatred or fear. The binding spell is for protection only, not for harm. This is not easy. And I think that uh, that's very wise, very wise advice. So, you know, whenever we're doing magic, we want to really stop and think about what our goal is, uh, what our intent is, and how we can accomplish that without harming people. Because in the Wiccan read, we say harm to none. Uh, do, do as you will, uh, harm none. So we don't want to hurt people, but we do have a right to use magic and power to stop somebody from injuring others. So we're going to do a binding spell. Now this spell that we're doing is actually called the Black Cord Binding. And you can see it here. This is the spell. And uh, I'll read to you a little bit from it here before we do it. Now it says here in our Book of Shadows, Black Cord Binding. Use this to bind someone from hurting others and themselves. Only do this if there is no other option available to you. And here's what you need. Black cord long enough to tie three knots in. And as you can see here, I have a, I'm actually using, using a black shoelace cord. They make wonderful cords for binding spells. You don't have to use a black shoelace, but if you can't find a black cord, go to your local uh, you know, pharmacy or, or shoe store and see if they sell shoelaces that are black. Wonderful for binding. Uh, so you need a black cord long enough to tie three knots in, a photo of the person 
harming others. And then it says in quotes, you don't really need a photo, but it helps to make the magic stronger. Well, today I don't have a photo because we're actually not binding a person. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. But if you want to have a photo, you can have that. But really all you need is the cord. And it says, first of all, sit and cast a circle. So if we want to cast a circle, we can say east, south, west, north. I call the sacred circle forth. And so you can make your circle casting very simple. That's just one way. Uh, yesterday's video, I showed another way to call the quarters. But that's one you might want to explore, um, you know, using this technique as well. Now, today I don't have room to walk around, but I would walk around and cast that and say east, south, and pointing the athmat each direction, west, north. I call the sacred circle forth. And if you do that and visualize a flame of fire surrounding you and forming a sphere, you'll cast your circle. Now it says, explain, after you cast your circle, explain to the universe what you are about to do and ask if it is the right thing. Think about how the person is hurting others and let the anger build up. Then all at once say loudly, and this is where you put in the person's name, so we'll just make up a name, John, I bind you from hurting others. Say that with force and energy. You want to psychically project the energy to the universe. Then it says, then quickly tie a knot in the cord. So you would say, John, I bind you from hurting others. And you tie a knot. Boom. Knot is in the cord. Can you see it there? Okay. Then you do it again. It says, then quickly tie a knot in the cord. Repeat the process three times or as many times as you feel necessary. So say, John, I bind you from hurting others. And again, pull that knot, boom. So now we've got two knots in the cord, one there and one there. And then you can do it again, it says third time. John, I bind you from hurting others. Visualize that power working, not that cord, boom. Now you can do that as many times as you want. Today we did three. I would generally say do it in multiples of three because that's the goddess number, three, six, or nine, or, or more than that, you know, 12, but, you know, at least three, okay? And it says, uh, repeat the process three times or as many times as you feel necessary. When done, say, three times three, I bind you, and then put the person's name in, John. Three times three, I bind you, John. Now it says, hide the cord and photo in a safe place where the knots won't come undone. Or better yet, still burn the cord so that the knots never come undone. We have our magic cord with our three knots that we've invoked power into. And uh, as the spell said, you want to secret the cord away. Uh, you could bury it outside or burn it. Tonight I've, uh, I'm going to use the technique that I like to use, which is secreting the magic cord away. And uh, what I like to use is, uh, first of all, I like to get like a little black bag. You can buy these little velvet bags at most occult stores. And in fact, if you go to rarewickaspells.com, they sell these sort of bags there, and you could buy them. But um, I like to just fold my cord up neatly. Uh, be careful not to unknot it. And then I put it in this little black bag, okay, just seal that up. Uh, and then I like to take that bag and put it in a little magic box. I have little boxes that I keep for spell work, and uh, this is wonderful because it has the pentagram. You don't have to have a pentagram box. Any box will work, but for this, this because it's a you know dangerous person we're binding, uh, we can then also seal that inside that, tuck it away, put it, you know, either in the back of your altar or in your closet, put it somewhere where, you know, people won't mess with it or touch it, 
uh, but you know where it is. And that sets our spell. So there's my little box, and it's ready to be tucked away. So guys, if you enjoyed this, this is the Black Cord Binding Spell uh, from rarewickaspells.com. Uh, I would encourage you to go over there and check that out. You can buy this spell there, and uh, it will be it'll be a wonderful addition to your book of shadows. And if you want to buy actually a whole book of spells, Lady Angela does sell complete books of shadows. You can get them in like 100 page, 200, 300 up to like 600 pages. Uh, my book's about I think it's like 300 pages, uh, but you can get any number. She even has more than that. Uh, and you can also buy from her these binders as well. So go over to Rare Wicca Spells. Uh, check out the magic there. As I said, you can buy uh, either complete books of spells or you can buy individual spells, however you want to do it. Anyways, I am so glad you guys are here. Thanks for being here. Uh, if you haven't uh, joined the Order of the Purple Cord, you might want to do that. I'll put links below uh, to my website and also to Lady Angela. Uh, to her YouTube and website, definitely go over there. Also from Lady Angela's page, there's a link to our Facebook page, which I need to update my website, uh, which I'm working on. I don't have that at the moment. But at Lady Angela's um, YouTube channel, it has links to the, the Facebook as well, so you can go there. So sign up there, sign up at my site. Uh, that's the two official places of registry. And you can join the Order of the Purple Corps. We're going to have more videos. Uh, Lady Angela and I are also working with um, Lord Tony and also Lady Heather, who we're going to introduce all of them as we go along. Uh, but we're going to be having more coming for the Order. Uh, I'm working on setting up a conference call, so we'll all be able to meet on a conference call and talk about our experiences. So anyways, we'd love you to join the Order of the Purple Court. It's free. Um, only requirements are that you agree to follow the Wiccan Read and that you make a Purple Cord. And uh, that's all explained at the website, okay? So anyways, check it out. We'd love you to be a member. And uh, definitely explore getting a Book of Shadows or starting a book. Maybe you can only buy one spell today. Hey, one spell's a beginning. You've got a book if you've got one spell. It's already started. So, uh, you know, it's a wonderful way to, to keep your magic. You know, uh, you know, when I was young, I could remember, I memorize every spell that I did. But you know, when you get older, your mind starts to go. <laughs> so that's good. I like stuff written down. That way I can remember, oh, is it, you know, two ounces of cloves or one in the spell or whatever we're working with. So, uh, yeah, so Book of Shadows is a wonderful way because, you know, over the years you're going to get so many spells, you're going to need to preserve all that knowledge. And a Book of Shadows is a wonderful, wonderful way. Not only is it wonderful per, per, for preserving the magic, it's a wonderful heirloom to pass down in your family. Uh, you know, can you imagine if you, when you first started out on the craft, if you actually had somebody to give you a beautiful book of fine parchment spells like this. I'm just going to show you some of this uh, because I really can't emphasize enough how wonderful these are. I mean, you know, when I started out on the craft, I had to do everything my own, by myself. And I wish I'd had somebody to give me this. Like, here's my full moon schedule at a glance. I know what day the full moon's at. So that's falling out. i got to put that back in. Um, I've got Wheel of the Year. I know all the dates of the Sabbaths. Um, here's a, a spell about uh, herbs, nine healing herbs. Um, here's another spell about the pentagram. There's a wind correspondences that works with all the, the directions. This is wonderful if you're doing weather magics. Uh, you know, we've got um, the directions. Talks about working with the energy of the quarters. Here's the northern direction, the southern direction the eastern direction, all of this knowledge is in my Book of Shadows. Here's about the moon phases. You know, when we, when I first started out magic, trying to understand the phases of the moon uh, was really important because I, I wanted to learn how to use the energy that was present. And this is wonderful. Uh, so all of these types of magic, we've got magical alphabets, you can get these at Lady Angela's site, and I would encourage you 
to go over there. And uh, we're going to have more magic, definitely. So these are just a few of the things I wanted to, to kind of show you. I could spend six hours talking about my book. Uh, we're definitely going to have more from that. So, you know. Anyways, guys, I'm so glad you're here. Blessings to all of you. Thanks for being here. Listen, if you're new here, or even if you're not new, hit that subscribe button, join Spirit Channel, be part of our scene. Keep it here. Next week, we got more videos. We're going to have rune magic, and I don't want you guys to miss that. In the meantime, give me thumbs up, like this favorite, share it with your friends. Go over to Facebook, join the Order of the Purple Cord. Go to Lady Angela's uh, YouTube, subscribe to her. Uh, you know, be part of our scene. Anyways, guys, tell me in the box below, um, have you ever done a binding spell? Uh, and tell me about your experiences with that. And if you haven't, uh, or if you have, tell me what you know what's worked for you and what hasn't. I'd love to hear. So share with me your magical experiences. Anyways, we'll see you back here on Tuesday. Blessings to you all.